All right, I feel like I've been away from the camera for weeks. Actually, I have, so I may be a little rusty, but 5.0 stroker, we're gonna call it. Uh, one particular guy keeps hating on it because it's not a 5.0. I'll elaborate on that later, but uh, got a handful of parts. Just kind of go over, won't be seeing this put on catch can, but I've never even done a catch can, but I feel like this is a good opportunity. Uh, new hoses, let's see. High RPM belt, never heard of it, it was like 10 bucks more. Got a wide band, standalone wide band. Uh, that's just for the dyno stand. I'll probably put it in the Jeep, but on the dyno stand when it cranks up, I don't, it's not gonna be tuned, it's gonna run, but I don't know air fuel ratio, so that's for another day. Uh, got injectors, I feel like they should probably kind of, for the factory tune in a bigger injector, I feel like it's gonna match the bigger displacement. We'll see. Uh, oil filter, new O2, some fancy cap and rotor. Actually, about two or three of them. Uh, funny story with these, I'll tell you in a second. Got new balancer, got an oil filter relocator kit. I'm not sure on that yet. That'll be another day's project. I didn't even know they made fancy plug wires, but I got them. Uh, some plug wire plugs. Uh, high volume water pump, got made fun of for that. Awesome. And then, it was cool. I was going to use this valve cover and then grind these back off on Justin's table sander thing. But wound up welding some bungs on there. I didn't. I got somebody else to weld them. And then I've got a massive oil cap. If you can tell, tell a story on that later on. Built fuel rail. Made in China. Like everything else. But had to have. Easy install. High quality assurance. All aluminum. So I debated on making this video, but I can't stand watching some channels that just says, here's a stage six Whipple charger, I'm gonna put it on, and then the next scene it's on, it's running. It probably gets more views, but I just, I don't care about, I just don't wanna be like that. I don't care if I get lower views, I'd rather just, I feel like it's more entertaining seeing stuff. So, I'm gonna, well, I'll show you a couple mistakes that I made on the motor, just to help you along the way. If you ever do this, I highly recommend you don't, but, Oh, I gotta tell you the story on the bolts. So I had to take a break from this. I got, I couldn't just put factory exhaust on there, so I splurged and spent way too much on that. Probably don't even make a difference. And then I went with the horseshoe intake because this is known to make more horsepower than torque. I just feel like for what I'm gonna be doing with it in particular, that I'd probably rather have the horsepower. So where I was going with the story is I bought Felpro intake exhaust gasket. It's what I was going to use. It's like 35, 40 bucks. I got an MSD coil too, didn't say that. But I got kind of hung up. I ordered that, I had that, and literally all I liked was I didn't want to put factory bolts back in the intake exhaust. So I made a post and everybody kept saying newcomer racing. So I got on there, I was going to order the studs. They was proud of the studs. And I got to thinking, this is NA, it's not boosted. So I didn't figure I really needed the studs. Well, then I watched the new Comer Racing, that new, what is it, 1,085 horsepower. Basically the same motor with a turbo on there. And he was using these. So I was like, uh, I believe these will do the job on NA. So I ordered these. They're still proud of them, but I get it. And I had the copper gasket that he makes on there. And again, I backed up, it's like 115 bucks. I said, this is just, a normal gasket will do this just fine. So, pulled it out of my cart and I got to looking. I was like, well, I hate to just order a set of bolts. So I clicked around and found out that he had, they're not used, there was a, they was brand new. I assume he opened up a rebuild kit and then didn't use them because he probably used his copper gasket. So he had brand new set aside gaskets. Well, it was like 10 bucks. Well, I got on there, or $9, whatever it was, 11 something. I think it was 11 So I put them, I put all of them in my cart that he had listed and went through the process, got to the end, and just kind of wrote out who I am. If you don't know who I am, I got hundreds of Cherokees, literally hundreds of them. So I just kind of wrote out who it was, what I did. It's like, if you ever need like throttle bodies or intakes or stuff like that, that, you know, I probably helped him out. Next morning, not a morning person, I was sitting there, my phone started ringing, I look at it, 
see North Carolina. I kept on playing on the computer, and then I thought about it, and I remembered I just ordered from him, which is from North Carolina or South Carolina, whichever one it is. So if you don't believe me, that's fine. That's not gonna hurt my feelings. So I picked up the phone, and it was Steve Newcomer. I was like, this can't be real. So we started talking, go back and forth, tell him who I am, what I do, and he was casual about it. And years ago, there was somebody, and if you know who this is, let me know. They wanted to buy all core throttle bodies because they was porting them out to, what, 50 or 60 millimeters, 56, whatever it was. And I literally scrapped, like, freaking buckets of throttle bodies because I didn't have, I didn't know about that. So that's why I kind of hit him up. I thought he was the one doing it, but evidently he didn't need those. But he wound up 96, 7, and 8, 4 intakes. He wanted a handful of them. So the reason he called is he said he had like 10 of each in stock and ordered basically 20. And he's like, tell you what I'm going to do. He said, if you'll take all of them, I'm tired of whittling them out. He said, I'm just going to send you all of them. So here I've got one. And then let's see. There's two copper looking for like the tuppy style. There's 10 MLS for the tuppy style. There's about eight, I guess like a graphite material maybe. So I got all of them. The Felpro I just ordered, there's like 11 of those. So I don't need those. And then whatever this graphite looking material is, that's tuppy style too. So in total, I got like 40 gaskets. So now I'm going to carry this one back to O'Reilly's. That's that story. Oh, I'm not, I can't believe he actually called me. And it's like, I got two phones, got one for business, one for personal. I was on the phone, I was like, is this your landline? He's like, don't give us number out. So that's cool. You understand it if you do what I do. But anyways, let me show you the motor. I got a light. If it's wrong, I've I've never used a light, but I feel like I needed a light. So one of my simple mistake, and I should have caught it. Well, number one is we put all the head studs in, and then tried to sit the head on. Heck no, don't do it that way. Maybe two head studs, sit it on there, and then thread them in. I just thought that'd be easier. But if you look at right here, see how, how much I got showing. Well, it turns out. The high volume water pump has like a ridge around it instead of, don't judge me, it was just laying here. See how I don't have a ridge? So they say it's a high volume. I don't know, it's called a high volume, so I ordered it. A couple people comment said it's not. I'm gonna test that one day, just bear with me. But if you try to stick this in the hole, some way or another, it, it hits that head stuff. If you can catch a glimpse of it. You can't see, there's no light. You just gotta trust me, it's right there where I'm touching. So, one little trick, just gotta back that up to match those, make sure it's there. Could dremel it off if you wanted to, but whatever. Uh, other than that, I might do a oil filter relocator. Like I said, that'll be when I go together. And I'm gonna see about doing an oil cooler. I don't know, I haven't crossed that bridge yet, but. And try to think of anything else. Uh, got hated on for using, not using brass ones. Well, guess what? They're laying on the shelf. I just didn't, I didn't use them. When I get this motor together, it's in the Jeep. Y'all let me know if you can even see freeze plugs. You can't, trust me. So I feel like that's enough talking. I'm gonna start throwing some stuff together. Like I said, as I go, if I learn something, if I learn something to show you, I'll show you. But right now it's simply just installing stuff. I don't like long videos. I didn't make it very far in the time lapse, but I got the graphite gasket stuck it up there. The head Justin, my brother, has poured it on it just a little bit. Not a whole lot, not like a CNC or nothing. Come on, Eddie. So I stuck the graphite up there and it was, it's gonna need port matched. Well then I stuck the paper composite, whatever it is, stuck it up there and it's bigger than the first one. Well then I opened up, Ellie. So I opened up the bank's header. It come with its own gasket 
and turns out it's bigger than all of them. So that settles that. I ain't got to do nothing. So after ordering 47 gaskets, I didn't even need one. Back to that. Well, table, kind of cleaned off pretty quick, but most of it, I just threw it up on the shelf there. Got the intake on, not digging the color, not gonna change it. Did get the head bolt raised up, got it cleared up there. Let's see, torque tubes on. That's what Banks calling them, those torque tubes. I kind of thought that was funny. Uh, I'm gonna stick the camera up in there. I know there's no light at all and you can't see, but it's kind of weird because number four, comes and actually goes like plumb down to here where the rest of them come off that. They're smarter than me on that, so I will trust them on that. Not like I'm gonna change it. Uh, those things are kind of aggravating. I didn't have a three. Didn't feel like digging, digging, digging to find a 12.38 short socket that would fit an extent. I tied them by hand. Supposed to be 25 foot pounds. Still gotta put this on there. Can't let me forget that. Freeze plug for the cam. Pump all the oil out of the motor. Oil filters on, spark plugs. So funny, I've got roasted for using the spray paint. I've got roasted for using iridium spark plugs. What else have I got roasted for using a high volume water pump? It's just crazy. I love it. Everybody thinks I'm like offended by the haters. I think it's awesome. I know who I am. I know what I'm doing, whatever. New balancer kind of slid on. I don't know if that's part of the reman crankshaft or no, it's a new crankshaft. I don't know. It's just cheap stuff you buy now. This thing, I had to tell you about it. My race car. Here, seen my buggy. It's got like 26 gallon fuel cell and takes a lot to put 26 gallons in there. So the fuel cap, I wanted a big one. Well, I ordered a fuel cap. Come with an aluminum bung. I have a steel gas tank, so still gotta cut all this out. My buddy welded it for me. This actually shrunk, so it's kinda hard to get on there. But that's kind of a joke. No funnel needed. So gotta get that. Gotta get some proper bolts for it. And I think I still got to Yeah, I gotta trim the little baffle things there. Actually, I'm just gonna cut them off and turn them over. I forgot about that, but. Don't scratch nothing. So definitely progress. Uh, sucks, I don't know what to do with the distributor. If y'all follow me, you know about the new distributors that you can't buy. I hate just throwing a used one on there, but they do work, so. I'll settle that. Gotta take a break, you won't see. Gotta put the uh, fuel rail together, gotta get some uh, grease and stuff for all that but anyways definitely moving pretty good oops all right it's actually probably been about three or four weeks since the last time i was on this but I'm trying to remember where i'm at just putting stuff together uh got a used distributor i'm just gonna roll with it still tossing the idea around of putting uh i'm gonna think i'm gonna try this on distributor and i think i may go to a coil pack and see if I can actually tell the difference. Uh, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge, but it's gonna keep knocking stuff out. I'll pick y'all up when I see something cool. We got progress let's check it out got the whole drill that was the last thing y'all probably seen that's good uh i don't know if you remember what them baffles look like but i flipped them over and cut the edges off 
I've got a humongous catch can. That's probably for like a massive V8 blown motor. So we're good on oil catch can. Yeah, this color scheme's getting out of hand. So check it out. These purple injectors go great with this intake and the color that don't match that color. And obviously you won't see them, but can't help myself. I'm a terrible painter. If you can see, missed all that. Had to get new bolts for no absolute reason. Got that bolted on. I need this thing, dipstick, stud. I got a little list there. And only problem I've run into is this is a 90, should be three, four, five. Actually, it's got the date. Oh, uh, if y'all can see, that is 211.93. So that will be a 94 ZJ block. And this is going in a 99 XJ. I didn't think this was different, but evidently, pretty sure these are the mounts off the bad motor. But if you look right where my finger is, there's a huge gap. The other two bolts line up great. There's just a huge gap. That's something fixable. I'm just kind of curious what it is. So Justin's got a handful of XJ blocks. I guess I'll carry that mount over there. See if we can figure that out. And I've got a few more bolts. That's what I was going. This color scheme's getting out of hand. This, I won't paint it. I literally just walked to the cabinet, grabbed some metallic black stainless have no idea it'll work so i'm gonna get that washed up and head over there and see if we can get all the missing pieces every time i think i'm about done something else pulls up maybe i'm about done need some bolts on the way to the shop i stopped at the jeep and checked it out and i got most of what i need got a regular throttle body if i haven't said it i am going to buy a throttle body it's just uh, not been a priority for the engine stand it'll run just fine on a factory one i hope Surely to goodness. Anyway, go get some more stuff. Meow. So as far as we know, all these are XJ blocks. Let's see, that one's got crap in the way. No, I don't. So let's see here. It's upside down, that'll help. Kind of hard to do this stuff heavy with one hand. Oh, oh my goodness, it fits not real great let's see that one's backwards that one's backwards i can't get in there but that go uh this one. Let's see. Like that. oh my goodness so that one fits there too hmm this is strange because i maybe the bracket's the same I've put ZJs and XJs before, and I've put XJs and ZJs before, but I don't think I've ever changed this bracket. I think I changed one on the driver's side, because one of them's wider than the other. I don't know, one of them's drilled. Uh, if I had one to show you. Let's see, this is my one of my XJs. Yep. I guess that boss just comes out farther. It comes out, let's see, nothing to judge by. All right, let's see if we can find a mount or a ZJ block. Because this man says there's a ZJ block back here. What are we videoing? I don't know, man. It's just entertainment. So all these are XJ blocks, and I brought them all in because we always thought that the little ball or little bracket was for WJ. Right. And then which one was it? Oh, that's the one with the yeah, oil pressure. See, this one. You know, the elbow of this little thing is angled this way, and then it's got the sending unit here. That's this, the ZJ block. This is like a one-off block, as far as we're concerned. Yeah, we looked it up. That's the only, like, a portion of 98 ZJs, because Justin looks at different stuff. I look at the oil pressure sensors always been right here. Well, look how they casted that different, and it's actually back here off of that little plug right there. So, now the still don't actually anything because does that fit right I can't really tell as long as it just sits flush the other one there's like a yeah it, it sits flush if the holes right. line up well that's that ZJ so that's the only ZJ in this shop that's well I think there's one more out there but that's the only one we got I think let's go open that well are it's, you opening that door yeah right. you need that so we've got a whole shop full of, oh, it's weird lighting, but there's not a ZJ block in this shop. Let's go over here. 
So we had a few more core motors. That's a new model ZJ, like a 96 M8. Actually, 97, I can see it. That's a 95. And, I mean, on camera, there's probably nothing you can see, but this is, uh, pretty sure, 95. But that boss is raised up, too. So, as far as I'm gathering information, they may have just changed the blocks in, like, 95. I don't... It's kind of weird. I've got a chart that tells all the differences in them. You want to go look at it? As far as like bolting and stuff? It tells, I'm pretty sure, bosses and stuff. Go, this is weird. I've been doing Jeeps 20 something years. This is the first time I've run into this exact problem. So I said, I think the whole time I was just not even changing this bracket and it was working out. So I don't know. We may have to put a stud and some washes under it and roll with it. So, one thing I am going to do is basically this is oil pressure and let's see, this is what screws into there and that'll be your oil pressure sensor. So what I do is come over here, not not right there. I'll come right there and I'll drill and tap. So that way I can access oil pressure. Pretty sure this motor, I'm gonna put like a mild oil cooler, even if it's just like a, what do you call them? I guess you call it a sink, a heat sink. It's, you know, it doesn't have a fan, just something. Cause they say something about this big motor and there's not cylinder walls. I'm tripping over here. Anyway, that's something I'll do. I'll show you when I get it done. And I'm I'm gonna go look on the bracket. But man, I think it's just it's just simply an early casting casted block. It's an early 93, and that's when the freaking ZJ was invented. So may just been something they screwed up on and didn't catch it, but didn't make me a custom throttle body. Watch this. Probably should paint it red or something, but put way too much so it's glossy give me a custom distributor watch this you can spin it I still think I'm gonna end up going coil pack so I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into that and like I just told you I'm gonna get a different throttle body so not putting a whole lot of effort into that working working my way down uh, I'm going to carry the camera with me. I'm going to go look and see if I see a different bracket, but I think I'm just going to put some spacers and like a, I'll show you, but it should work. It's just something I've never seen. I actually found it. No way. The third, or actually the second one I found. This is crazy. So on camera, I know it's hard to see measurements, but see how that one, let's say that's about an inch from there to there. Right here, see how that's about an inch. Well, let's just use my finger. About right there to my... My crinkle of my finger, you can see, check this one out. Goes all the way up to my second knuckle. So, no idea. Uh, no idea. But it's wrong. That's a Cherokee motor mount, so that come off Cherokee. Sweet. So, just got to paint that one. If I had advice to tell you what this is, what the difference, I don't know. But I do remember now, some of these are like, that bolt is really hard to access. So, I have seen it, just never had any trouble. But I'll get to some painting, throw it on there. Almost there, need some water pump bolts. Some people ask me for used water pumps, it's crazy. All right, well, it's going together. Let's see, where am I at? I was talking about the color scheme, just not fitting. Those injectors ain't going nowhere and you obviously can't paint them. They're some kind of purple. So I needed to paint the valve cover. And I was like, just do it. Glossy ice grape. That'll get some comments. I feel like I might run this motor and pull the valve cover back off because you're supposed to run the spacer, but I think we've measured enough that I think it's good, but yeah, that's gonna look nice. And I'm gonna continue to make a fool out of myself. Let's check this out. So I went and found the motor mount I was speaking of, and see, that is my XJ. And then I went and found this one, and it goes back farther, like I thought. Everything should be great. Makes perfect sense. Went to stick it up here after I got it painted. Boom. Sorry if the camera angle was wrong, but I went to stick it up there, not even close. Like, what? What the heck? I was like, what in the world? So, I was sitting here dreaming. I was like, surely they didn't make three different ones. And that's when I had this bracket in my hand. I noticed, you probably can't tell on camera, that uh, boss is actually at an angle. I was like, what in the world? So, I got to looking, and probably can't tell on camera. The threads are short. Those go way in there. Then I remembered that this is my ZJ. 
And if y'all seen me off-road, you probably understand, but I broke the motor mounts off this thing. So I think it broke this bolt and this bolt and it wound up breaking the boss off right here. So I ground it flat, what I thought was flat. Wound up making like a plate, caught this and this and this and this and this and this and then that one. That was good. I guess I just forgot that's been several years ago. So yeah, we're just gonna have to go with a double-ended stud, thread locked, and if it breaks again, they do make, uh, if you know who comment, I know Iron Man Off-Road makes like a full plate that uses factory mount and then I've made them myself and there's another company. But for what I'm doing, this will probably be fine. I'll show you before I stick it on there, but just can't remember everything. Other than that, need some water pump bolts that I can't find. They gotta be metric and really short because these go, they hit right there. I know I've got them, I just don't know where I put them. Getting there, almost there. So I've put what's called a double-ended stud and just put some washers. And we'll just bolt that on there. I know it's not ideal. Should work fine. But if not, you can make fun of me. But I think it'll be just fine for, it'll work. Rule, from what I've heard, rule of thumb, is you have to have the amount of threads that the bolt is wide. So like this bolt is 3 eighths wide. No, not 3 eighths. It is 3 eighths. So you would need 3 eighths of threads to make that's just how many threads you need to make the most of this bolt. Like you screw it in all them threads, it's still gonna break at the three eight. That makes perfect sense now that I think about it. We're good. Oh, this is that thing. You can see now I've threaded two different holes. You can see through it. So I'm gonna cap one off for now. That way later, if I decide to run an oil cooler, all I gotta do is plug it in. All right, well, I think I'm to the final stage. Uh, if you watch time lapse, I didn't go with purple. It was a little, I don't know. Anyway, oh, just trying to think. Pretty much got everything bolted on that I can. I know I've still got a few sensors to pull off the, well, they're all in the back of the Jeep. Still got to order a throttle body. I really don't want to spend that kind of money on throttle body, but it's got to happen at this point. And if you can see, everybody's screaming the valve cover spacers. I get it. But this was what I was trying to do. I've got two of these, and I feel like this is going to be getting close to the hood, so if you space it up even higher. But that's what uh, I had to grab the camera and show y'all. As far as valve clearance, I think we're good. I ain't never had this cap on, but this cap's going to be nice. Should be enough light for you can see, but I mean, there is literally way more than enough. Gets a little close against the wall over there, but I think we're dialed on clearance for that. Still gotta get some bolts for the water pump, bolts for this. Figure out, I guess I'm going manual fan. I don't know. There's still some more stuff to order. This one of those videos I've just kind of even debated on doing. But like I said, I don't like being short and hiding stuff and not being full descriptive. So if you got actual comment of if you like these videos or don't, be appreciated. I will, I do read every single comment and I'm not gonna say I reply to every single one, but I do read them. There's just millions of them and I'm just a person, so. If you enjoy it, appreciate it, let me know. Uh, I cleaned this up for no reason, and I sold the flywheel to a boy. If you know who you are, you know who you are. So, gotta find me a flywheel now. Have a good day. Go. Arnie, what are you doing? Oh, check this out. I got some used light bars out of the junkyard, put them on here. I like them so much, I got them on Amazon. You can get like a ton of these for like little or nothing. But uh, check out these, they work good. And I'm sure the new ones will work good even better. Yeah. Uh, I'm not real good at wiring. I hooked on some gray box under here. But I got like this sleek switch so you don't know that they're home. Are they working? No, they're not working. Oh, that's it, I hooked them up with a key. So you gotta turn it Oh my gosh. Uh, was I supposed to have it? Uh huh. Whew. At least they're working. God dang it, this one ain't even coming. Oh, you gotta plug it up. Oh. Hey, 
What the heck? What was that? What box did you hook on to? <laughs> My four teeth. Can't redo it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> do, it, if you want to do something else, do it while it's still smoking. If you want to do another ending or whatever. Just keep video. Yeah. Oh, okay, to say. Uh, da, 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 da. She, she already said, was that supposed to happen? It's like a big pillow come out of the dash. I bet that was that gray box I looked it up to, wouldn't it? <laughs> My switch still works good. That was a lot. <laughs> don't learn in your don't learn wiring off TikTok. The, the first reaction was good, and then you was expecting the second one, but it was still a reaction. <laughs> it still you didn't know. It literally, <laughs> literally fell down with the plug in. <laughs>